guys, this is Sha. I'm back talking in the video again. I got a request that if I don't explain my tutorial, it's not really a tutorial and I agree, so I'm back speaking. So today we're gonna be continue making cat paws. This is a shiny mode and this is a matte mode. And let me know if you guys like the videos with me talking or without me talking. So. I can do both. So today I'm going to do a blue color in both finishes. <clears throat> and we know that the finish depends on the mode. So if the mode is glossy, then it will come out glossy and shiny. If the mode is matte, then it will come out matte. I already poured some um, soft resin. And yes, I'm starting to wear the mini gloves. Okay, let's do this. So I'm using uh, epoxy resin pigment from Amazon. I used this for over a year now. <laughs> it's almost gone because I use this color a lot and this is called Sky Blue. It comes in like a 24 color set. And today the blue I'm going to do a transparent color. So two drop is good enough. And to mix, I will use a toothpick. And you mix thoroughly. So there are many, many types of blue. I get a lot of orders for cat's paws. And if you want like a um, different kind of shade of blue, baby blue, sky blue, you know, more of a grayish blue or turquoise is that even a type of blue so like different blues if you have a specific mind of blue make sure you send me a picture of that color and when I take order I will make it according to that blue so it looks pretty good mixed you don't see any streaks and you can start pouring So this is color is only for the toes. I like these little cups. It's because it has a little mouth. When you pour, it's uh, more precise. Of course, practice of steady hands would help too. And this is for the matte color. And the soft resin right now is uh, sold out. I'll let you guys know when I restock it. Alright, so this is the first layer and we'll let it cure for a day and we'll proceed to the second layer. So this is cured, the first layer, and now we're going to do a second layer. Just add clear hard resin. Just a little bit, this a little glitter. Let me pick that up. All right, and this is all you do for the second layer and let it sit to cure. Make sure you don't want to fill all the way up, just, just first, just a little bit. You want to leave some room for. All right, now we're going to add the clear film, not clear holographic film. And I have these cut, pre cut ones in my shop. You can get it in the shop. You just do it slowly like this.
try to figure at the edge as possible. It's sticky back, so at least get close as possible so you don't have to adjust it later. So make sure it's flat. I'm having the hardest time peeling this. There you go. <coughs> okay, now we do the insert. And this is the silicone insert also available in my shop. All you do is first pour a thin layer at the bottom even it out at the edges so it got all covered and then you put the insert in like this and fill it not all the way because we're doing another layer after this one save some space so a thin layer put it in Alright, and we'll let it cure for a day and we'll proceed next day, next the day after. So now this layer is cured. We're going to remove the insert. And so here's the dent. We're going to fill it in with uh, cute stuff. So I have some pearls, two, three in each, three. And I have some crystal beads. Less is more. You don't want to put too much inside. And I also have some mermaid beads, which is like multicolored pearls. I think they look good in this one. I also have. Since the blue, I have some. Know, holographic mix that's blue color in it. These are filling solids. Multiple types will make it look even nicer. I have some mermaid beads as well. This is like water beads. It's like water bubbles. 
It looks kind of gray, but it doesn't affect the color too much inside the shaker. It actually just looks like real bubbles. We don't need a lot either. And it looks great. So I think I want to add a little bit more. Um, I want to add a darker color of blue. Or purplish just give like a little extra color so these are color um, crystals so dangerous I'm afraid I'm gonna spill it let's use the cap so just add a little bit because you don't want to overtake the whole theme I think that looks good just a little bit more, a few more. Okay, there you go. And looks good. So it has some extra color inside. And now we're going to use UV resin. Let me clean the table a little bit because I don't want to you know, get it dirty. So we're going to use UV resin and seal the edges. You want to put a good amount right here because you want to make sure when you seal that cap, it's flat, flat in. And you're going to use a toothpick to pick out the edges if there's any air bubbles or when I was pouring the you know the fillers if there anything landed on the edge you want to take it out there's a heart right here so you can just pick it out like that have a tissue next to you or like a wet towel to clean out the toothpick okay that looks good and I'm going to put baby oil inside. Okay, just fill up flat. And then here is the pre-cut paw. And you just want to slowly drop it and you don't want to push it. So you want to use a toothpick. So lightly, gently put it in. Just wiggle a little bit, don't press, because when you press, the, the oil is going to come up, because that's how full it is, right? And then we're going to put it under the light. And we're working on this one while that one is on the in the light. You just uh, fill out the edge like this. It's like frosting a cake, a cupcake, kind of. Not really. <laughs> All right. Now use the toothpick just to draw around the edges. Make sure there's nothing on it. And also remove the air bubble if there's any. Fill with the water. I mean, not water, sorry, oil. I guess so many people ask me what water do you use and then I kind of confuses myself. I mean, it's oil, but you can use water too, actually. I always used oil. There's no reason why. I think it's because it smells good, but then when, once it's sealed, it doesn't have a smell. And also, I think oil is a... Uh, the speed is different. So water is faster. Oil is probably slower. So this one is sealed 100%. There's no leaking. You can tell by when you're pressing it, there's no, no sound and no oil popping up. So this is perfect, ready to seal. And do we want any decorations on the designs? Usually you can do a lot of things. Uh, it's totally up to your, you know, creation if you're giving to a gift to a friend you can 
I want to put fireworks on this one. So this is all random, so I just came out to, I didn't prepare anything. I think it will look good with the firework. So I will choose one. I think this one looks good. I'm going to cut it out. So these are holographic printings that I got from Amazon. It comes with a big selection. So you can use whichever. This one doesn't have a sticker too, so it's just a flat cut. We're going to put it in. So it looks like this. I think it has a film, but it doesn't make it sticky. It's just gonna make it clear, clearer. It's hard to find the, I think it's the back. Let me see. Oh, I got it. There you go. So it doesn't, it looks more clear without the sheet. And you don't wanna touch it. So just gonna put this in like this. and leave it. Okay. And then the next one should be done. It's secured, sealed. And I'm going to put another firework on. So let me see which one should we put this or I feel maybe this one I like this one all right peel the back film like I said there's no stick backs it's just um, make it clear There you go. Place it in the middle. And we can pour the resin in. I already pre-made some hard resin. So let's pour it the last coat. A little extra is better, but don't pour too much. Okay, that looks great. Use a toothpick to run around the edges just in case there are like bubbles on the edge. If there is, push it into the middle. Great. Now we'll wait for it to cure. So now this is cured and that's the mold. This is the matte one. Oh, I love that. It has a greenish effect because of the film. This is all soft toes. And I put the firework in the back. I 
think it's amazing. If this gets a little stuck, you can try to shake it harder and then you will start moving. This one. It's a glossy finish. Ah, oh, so pretty. The glossy finish has more of a purple look to it because of the film. But they're all the same film that I used. There's a just you will move. But it's okay. Ah, so beautiful. Also squishy resin. Do you like the shiny gloss or you like matte finish? Which one is your type? Or both? <laughs> Do you like the firework design too? Leave in the comments and let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.